butterfly gonna be mad at us. This is corn and molasses to help attract the hogs. And it's sticking everywhere. Good morning, y'all. This is Todd from We Put So. I've got some corn mixed up with some molasses in it. I'm going out there to the hog trap and put a little bit of this bait inside the trap and outside the trap. I've got a big old smart hog that he keeps passing by. He's eating what's on the outside. He ain't come inside yet. But I'm going to get it all fixed up for him and just keep teasing him until I can get him to come in and take a ride with me. We're going to go back there, we're going to check the cows on the way and feed them and put some corn out, some fresh corn in the trap. I just throw some safeguard in there. It's a wormer for the cows. It's that they actually just lick it and they get the worm medicine through that safeguard. When you're not set up with a good chute to be able to give them shots and take care of them like you need to, that's a different way you can worm them. Well, I use that and I use pour on Ivamec, just different ways. I'm still working on the chute, trying to get it all ready. But I got enough irons in the fire right now. I got a bunch of stuff going on. But guys, I got a little new baby calf I want to show you. There's two little calves right there. There's two little girls. We got a brand new little baby boy right there. How you doing, young fella? Huh? How you doing, young fella? Sure, he ain't but a couple days old. I wasn't definitely sure that it was a boy, but it's a boy. I just reached back there and felt his testicles hanging down. But somebody asked the other day about the boy difference between the boys and the girls. If you look on these calves. Look right in his middle section, how that's hanging down. That is his navel. And if you look at their mama, see how the mama's got it too? This breed of cows has got that hanging down in the center. It looks like a boy, but it's not. If I'm going to show you this other little calf. Watch right here. That 
of gap in the back right there. I know you really can't see it good from here. It's cold, I see it shaking. That is a little girl. A lot of times you got to catch them and put your hands on them to be able to see what they are. Uh, or you can wait until they go take a leak, then you can tell. But until then, it's hard to tell what these little babies are. And most of the time, they stay right up under their mamas in the trees. They're hard to get to to be able to see what they are. But we're going to head in the back. Go see if we got anything in the hog trap. Well, I know there ain't none in the hog trap because I done looked through the camera. But I'm going to see if there's any fresh sign back there and get them some fresh corn poured out. They were hid. That's two little Razorback bars that I got in here feeding them out. And you can see we had some rain a few days ago and the water's still running through the pen. So they got fresh water runs through here. It makes it a lot easier back here when it rains like that and we got a pond above it. That water just kind of self drains through there and keeps them watered with fresh water all the time. Uh, at the house, we had that little freeze come in. I drained all the lines out, blowed them all out with air. But there's one thing that I forgot back here on this tank. Yep, I forgot all about it back here. That thing was full of water. It broke the water line off in the bottom, I let everything drain out. So when it starts drying up some more, I'm gonna have to fix that fitting, put some more water in it and uh, haul it back out here. It's a 500 gallon tank, used to be an old spray rig, but it's a stainless steel tank. It's been discontinued for probably 20 years. It's all cleaned out and I've been using water in it and to water these hogs over here, it makes it a lot easier. There's no water lines right here in this area. I've got water run to the old camp right there, but not all the way back over here. Let's go to the back. What I'm doing is making a little trail of corn coming in here. 
this hog's passing by right here and he's one of them old timers that's very very smart I'm putting him a little bit of corn on the outside a couple different spots I'm also feeding the deer out here too but then inside the trap I got a big pile and that's where I'm gonna keep the most of the corn at and the sweet stuff I'm gonna put a little bit there and a little bit on the four-wheeler trail trying to entice him to come in if he keeps coming by and he keeps hitting a little bit of corn a little bit he's eventually gonna mess up and go inside this trap and that's what I'm hoping on as hog hog boss sent me this box for this automatic gate and this is my gate set up right here that's the box the battery the solar panel this is the five by eight gate that I built drop gate which I call on my phone we got the peg on the outside that's to help support the bottom and I'm putting lots of corn in here keeping them fed up you see all the old corn the coons and the squirrels are having a blast in here but up in the top that's the camera if you hear my phone keep going off in my pocket I keep setting that system off and it's sending alerts to my phone up that they got would you call and drop the gate that's the camera going off I got to get out from in front of it it's gonna keep going off what it does it tells you that something's in there but it doesn't go off all the time for the small stuff there's a sensitivity you can set on it to where it doesn't go off for all the little coons and the squirrels that run around now if they pass right in front of the camera up on the fence it'll set it off or my cows come by it sets it off but I just check and see what's coming in there when a the hog's coming in there and that big hog he's by himself so when he comes in here and gets far enough in there I'm gonna drop the gate on him all I do is I got a number I call for the trap for the door the gates come come down and we're gonna have him in there hopefully we can keep him in there because he's a good sized hog he's gonna tear some stuff up but I'm fixing to put some of this molasses out with corn it's us it they can smell that a long ways I made a mixture of uh some sour corn i put that in there i had the uh, uh jello mixed in it the yeast a little bit of everything trying to make it ferment i put that in there he ate what was on the outside but he hadn't come on the inside like i say he's smart he's gonna be hard to catch but he will mess up and i'll catch him Yeah, it's still hard to get out of there. It sticks in there. A little bit left in there. I'm going to go bring it to Butterfly. I guarantee you she'll lick it out of there, her and red. But guys, this that trap is in them woods straight right there. That's one of the trails that he's coming down. This is another trail he's passing by right here. So full with a trail. It's hard to see some tracks. I, there's mostly coon tracks around here right now. But see, there's a few tracks where he come through. It's hogs and deer mixed in here, but he is passing through here. Not very often, but he does pass. But we're gonna catch him. We're just gonna stick with it until we catch him. That baby's slick now. We just got to just keep keep feeding him, keep pampering him, and he's gonna mess up. We're gonna get him. But guys, God bless. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.